Movement is part of your daily life. Between arrivals and departures, you have to keep up the energy in different situations. And more than that, it is also important to maintain the quality of both products and services. Respect for the environment, the optimization of human capital, and partnership with consumers. That is what moves Tudor Brazil, one of the leading and most modern battery companies in the world. With production units strategically located to efficiently and timely serve the market, Tudor Brazil provides excellence in the manufacturing and marketing of all of its products with a continuous investment in technology. Concern with a quality standard is present throughout the company processes and is recognized by the most demanding customers. That is why Tudor has over 80 wholesale distributors in Brazil and abroad, over 10,000 authorized resellers, and provides products for original equipment manufacturers. The secret of such success lies in the production of every single battery. Using high-tech equipment, automation, and an experienced and skilled team. It all starts with the arrival of the raw materials. At this stage, Tudor analyzes samples from the batches to confirm they are all in accordance with its technical specifications and whether they can be used in its production process. The approved materials are then sent to stock and as needed, they are directed to each production sector. The first stage in the production process of Tudor batteries is the lead strip rolling for manufacturing the plates. From a batch of pure lead and specific chemical elements, alloys are prepared by smelting these materials at 450 degrees Celsius. Then a lead strip is produced with the specifications for each product. After casting, the strip goes through the rolling process which makes it resistant to corrosion. After the rolling process, the strip is precisely cut and automatically coiled and palletized. Then the lead coils go through a curing process before the expansion. At this point, the cured lead strips are uncoiled and placed in a buffer machine, allowing for continuous production. Then the strip is expanded over a mesh to produce the plates. In a parallel stage, in sync with expansion, the active material is produced. Cylinders are produced from pure lead ingots, which are fed into a mill for the manufacturing of lead oxide, the main component of the plate active material. The lead oxide is stored in silos where it is left to cure before being used. Oxide, water, sulfuric acid, fibers and other additives are used in the preparation of the active material. After preparation under strict temperature, time, density and plasticity controls, the active material is dosed through a cone in a pasting machine that applies the active material onto the expanded mesh for the production of battery plates. These plates then go through cutting and fast drying before being automatically stacked. Positive plates are produced in one line and negative ones in a parallel and independent line to prevent material contamination. The plates then go to another stage in the process where they are cured in special chambers under controlled temperature time and moisture. This stage is important to ensure the adherence of the paste to the mesh, allowing the necessary chemical reactions to take place. After curing, an approval analysis is made in the chemical lab before the batches are released for assembling the batteries. The assembly starts on machines that envelop the plates with polyethylene material performing a series of quality checks, 
comparing them to standards, and automatically eliminating those considered out of specification. After this, the machine stacks the positive and negative plates in precise counts, forming the groups for each battery size. The groups are automatically stored in buffer magazines, allowing for a continuous assembly flow. They are then inserted into the cast-on strap machine, where they are lined up and prepared for the strap casting. In this process, lead is dosed in a heated mold, and the connectors and posts are molded in the plate groups. When they come out of the mold, they are automatically inserted in polypropylene boxes in a precise and continuous manner. After assembling, the cells go through a high voltage test to check the strap quality. At the next station, intercellular welding is performed, connecting all elements, and a new high voltage test is made to check the welding quality. If the battery presents any problem, it is automatically rejected by the machine and a sound alarm goes off to inform the quality control supervisor of the line. After the tests, the batteries undergo a terminal alignment control, and then the box and the lid are thermically sealed together. Next, the batteries go through the post-welding station, leakage tests, laser serial coating process, and finally, their height and weight are checked to comply with the highest quality standards. The approved batteries are stored and then sent to the charging system in batches. At the charging system, the batteries go through filling equipment to be filled with an acidic solution consisting of concentrated sulfuric acid and demi water. Later, the batteries are transported and placed in formation tanks. In these tanks, each battery receives an electric current in a controlled formation, time, and temperature. After this cycle, the formation acid is removed. Then the batteries are filled again with a final electrolyte and have their level checked. Next, the overlid is sealed and a leak test is performed to check the seal. The batteries are washed and receive the load viewer. They are then sent to the finishing sector. The finishing stage starts with the weigh-in. After this, the batteries are placed in an automated line where their poles are cleaned. Then they are sent to the pole measuring station where they are checked with a dimensional scanner. A high current test is performed which simulates an engine cranking and the voltage of each battery is checked. The approved batteries are then sent to another test, the high voltage test, for the objective of detecting micropunctures in the plastic set or any sealing faults. The batteries are then sent to packaging where they automatically receive their labels and the pole protectors are inserted. Here is also where the guarantee certificates are simultaneously encoded with the batteries. Finally, a thermo shrinkable plastic film is applied and the batteries are stored on pallets. The pallets are wrapped with stretch film and are ready to be shipped to customers all over the world. In every stage, Tudor excels to provide you with the best products, generating the energy you need to be always on the move.